hello guys welcome to my channel so from past few days i was searching for a phase matcher which can do a phase matching like species phase matcher but in an approximate manner if it is present in approximate sense then also it should match so if you see the example which is displayed on the screen it's from spacey and if i try to do a phrase matching if you can see in my document if you can see the touch screen is written with touch and screen both without spaces and if i run my matcher you'll see i'll get nothing so, and if i remove the space and add extra s over here then i'll get the location of the token present in our document but i wanted something which can be a little bit flexible and can search something which is approximately present in a document so i tried to build one I'm going to build one in this video, so be with me. Uh, before going on the coding, I will talk about the library which I've used for doing so. I'm going to use a fuzzy fuzzy library. Fuzzy fuzzy is a Python library which works on Levenstein distance. If you see here, fuzzy fuzzy, it's present in pip, so you can directly install it using pip install fuzzy fuzzy. Uh, if you see, it works on a Levenstein distance, and if you see the Levenstein distance definition, what it does is it calculates the distance according to the change in the alphabet so in kitten and sitten if you see there is one alphabet change k and s so the levenstein distance is one between them similarly if you say, uh, see here kitten and sitting the levenstein distance between these two is three okay guys so let's make our very own approximate phrase matcher for that first we'll import pandas you can install pandas if you don't have using pip install pandas then we are going to import first module from fuzzy fuzzy then we are going to import nltk for our document processing and then we are going to import all these top words of english and we are going to import re regular expression library yeah everything is fine now we are going to open our document which is talking about cars uh, yeah toyota highlander 3.txt so if you look at our data it's a string of whole file Okay, first let's get all the stop words from English. So stop word will make a set of stop words so that if there are any repeated stop words, they won't be compared again. So we'll make a set. Yep. Uh, we'll add some more stop words. You can add as many as you want. So it's a set. You need to add it using dot add add. So I'm going to add full stop. Let's copy it again and add others. Okay. I think those are fine for my document. You can add as many as you want. Then let's make a function. We'll call that as def find car features actually these features are the phrases which we are trying to match so we'll take it as a features variable actually this will be a list here we'll take a list of phrases which we are going to match with the document in our case the document is the data data file so it will come in document it would be basically of type string and then we'll take uh, int and call it match let's keep it as 80 so this will be the percentage of fuzziness we need in our phrase matcher we'll keep it 80 percent for now we can change it as we want and we'll return a list as a result which will contain all the phrases which are matched and the position of their phrases will save in results okay so now let's tokenize for every feature in features 
I will take one by one each feature and I will get the length of these features and to a variable and feature which will keep the length of feature so if they are bigram we have to search in a bigram actually if you have seen the touch screen example so it can be either two or one so we'll try to increase our searching parameters if uh, the given phrase is in three you know three or n grams so we'll increase our search with the documents and number of phrases and number of words that's why we are going to do this we're going to do a split by phrases so if it is hello i am if uh, our features is something like hello i am so we are going to match it with three words of our document so if our document is let's say our document is i uh, hello v r okay so it should match with hello v r not only hello that's why we are going to calculate the distance of our phrase length of our phrase okay so let's i think this point is clear okay then we have to get the tokens so we'll call it word tokens tokens so let's tokenize our document okay that's fine and from these tokens we have to filter out those stop first so let's call it filtered word tokens filter word tokens we contain snicker list comprehension we will contain w so these w's are from w in word tokens okay so they would be in word tokens if they are not in if not w in stop words so if they are not in stop words then those word token will be taken into filtered words okay yeah i think this will be fine yeah it's fine okay now what we'll do is we'll make a word to compare we'll call that as a word to compare so for i in range length of our word token and then we'll subtract the length of our features i'll explain you this bit for a second length feature plus one because it should go one less okay then then our word compare word to compare let initialize it and then for j in range will go from i to i plus length of our vector so it's length feature yeah in feature okay so if i dot search uh here what we have what we are doing is we are trying to make that word hello i am so three word word from this document so what we have to do is we have to aggregate three three words so we have to check whether we are in the range of the word or not if we reached at the end of the word token then we couldn't we can cannot make the token so it should be within the token and it shouldn't be with full stop so what we'll do is uh, so if someone is writing hello i am we are i was going to talk with you okay so if you are writing something like that the word tokens will be of three three words hello we are i was going to talk and then so it will be like hello we are we are then from we are to i so if there is a 
full stop in between then we'll know we know that in our phase most of the time full stop won't be there we are not going to match it full stop so at that time we have to break it up break it so i will make this word to compare it will initially it's null then we are going to add if the word is not full stop comma exclamation mark or start or end of the bracket or question mark so we'll match with all those things so if the word is not in these things what are these things so if you are writing anything in square brackets the thing it will compare with or so the word is not comma or exclamation mark or or question mark or uh, what you can say it's braces start of the braces or square braces i think square braces won't work you have to use backspace escape character or if it is okay start of the quotes end of the quotes or start of the single quotes or end of the single quotes for each of them each of these things you have to use escape character because you know they are if they can mess up with your matching so, okay i think now this works fine yeah that's fine so it should not be equal to what should not be equal to our word tokens word tokens value will be j so this particular word will not be equal to if it's equal to something then what we'll do is we'll break we'll make it as a two word thing so if there is a full stop we'll just take a phrase as vr we are going to compare vr with hello i am not vri because it doesn't make any sense it's a new word okay so what token is comparing with it so we'll break it or if it is not any of these what we'll do is we'll add these things to word to compare is equals to word to compare then we'll add it with space okay sorry not equal to add with word tokens j yeah i think that's fine okay let's add it in lower cases so that everything will be insane thing so we'll make features also lower while comparing what to compare okay 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 everything looks fine okay now what we'll do is whatever word to compare we found okay so let's get out of it so whatever word to compare yes right yes spelling is right okay we'll strip it i think it was dot strip yeah dot strip let's strip the spaces you know sometimes spaces may come and if sometimes you know null character is also coming like what to compare have nothing like it's just a full stop and we'll add nothing to that word to compare then we need to skip this how to compare equals to nothing then uh, not equals to nothing then what we have to do if fuzz ratio fuzz dot ratio it will bring the deviation in distance word to compare and features the feature we are searching so let's make this also lower so that we'll have a same match setting if the value is what we can say greater than our matching parameter so the match ratio the percentage ratio and keep it is greater than that we are going to append this to our result dot append this particular uh, i will go to append a list so it will have word to compare 
word to compare and we'll add feature in it and we'll add a location so this i so location and j also we can keep oh shit j here it is not initial so we just make it as zero so that the value of j will be preserved here and we're at the point where it breaks so it will tell us how many word are there after this so it can start with like 17th character and go to 18th character start with 20 character and go to 30 character so it's a two word thing um, okay i've seen everything that okay so return it and yeah so return it okay everything appears fine run it i think no problem the function and let's define our features which the phrases which you are going to search so let's call features and mm, what else was there in the car touch screen okay T -H screen and uh, let's search it with led headlights it's fine okay so let's call our current function find car features give the features give our data percentage we already set to 80 so no need to set up let's run it uh results i think good steering is matched the steering if one word only so no this time then touch screen is matched with without space touch screen so that's also good hope this video is useful for you thank you thank you for watching